Whoa! Whoa, whoa, whoa! <laughs> Broke through the net. Let's catch him up. Woo! With catch him up fishing with Zach Ketchum. Look at this fish. Catch him up. All right, so you guys were begging for us to keep it as a pet, but I was surprised. There was a lot of you guys who wanted to slurp this thing. You guys don't remember, just the other day, we caught a fat clown knife fish with a little hump on its back. Looks super weird, but it's wild caught, exotic, catch them all species. So, this thing is down here. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna fill this up with water. And we're gonna show you a little trick on how to make your wild caught fish a little less deadly for your other fish. <laughs> I'm gonna keep this in my pocket. All right. It's a little murky up here because this got a little clogged overnight. No big deal. And this water is, as you can see, a little filmy. But what we're going to do is grab some water. Just a paint. Just a little bit. All right. Where are you, young fella? Come on. <laughs> now this thing is super ridiculously camouflaged. It's right over here. Watch your step. There's a lot of murkiness right here. But with them bad boy Waterland sunglasses, I spotted him sitting right there. He turns sideways. They do that when they're threatened. So now, Remember, they can swim backwards. They can turn on a dime. Come on, get it, get it. Oh! Whoa, whoa, whoa! <laughs> Broke through the net. Oh, 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 oh my God. And that's why we're brushing its teeth. Because he does have teeth, which he just used to cut through the net. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. A lot of power in those things, guys. Super amazing fish to catch. You can catch them with South Florida bass charters, but yeah, it's gonna be tough. I might have to get out that mega net. Go. Oh, you good, buddy? <laughs> and my Triton shall come forth once more, ladies and gentlemen. The Mega Nets has never failed me. Maybe a couple people holding it has failed me. <laughs> I'm gonna try to go in from behind. Without the Waterland sunglasses, I would not see this thing at all. <laughs> it's like it's crazy. crazy. Yeah, it's absolutely impossible. Guys, get yourself a pair of Waterland sunglasses. You can go use code Ketchum for fifty percent off. The link is in the description below on every single video best of the best sitting right there there's no way you could see that tell me you could see that you can't see that not even with the polarized lens on that i'm telling you best of the best so guys we're gonna try to scoop this bad boy up hopefully he doesn't rip another hole through this net come on honey don't run oh oh just banged it i you? know just trying to corral it yep it's moving real fast if you go backwards and forwards, I might need to rethink this. Because as far as I move, I thought he would like slow down, but this thing's taking off. You know what I might have to do? I might have to just push it all the way around. Go, run, run. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't that fast. Oh. Relax, honey. Relax. So now, this guy's been in here for a couple weeks relaxing foraging on food as you guys can see i scooped up a couple a couple of its little four g's that's why they're <laughs> why they're invasive species because they eat everything and they comp they compete with the natives but look check this out cichlids these guys these guys all clown knife food Cool, huh? Yummy. Yep. What's even cooler is I did not put a single one of these in this pond. I started this pond up, it was completely dry, and I guess all the micros went in there. Mm -hmm. And before I knew it, a week later is when I put this fish in. I looked in some pond, there was just tons of these little bait fish. How cool is that? Absolutely interesting. So, what we're gonna do with this bad boy is he's our pet now. So you can see he's pretty healthy. Doesn't have any weird spotting. The same clown, you can see that hump on the back. Whoa, whoa, whoa. They can swim backwards, we have just enough. So he can't overpower us. Enough water that he can't overpower us. But check this out. See that hump? Humpty. Humpty Dumpty. So what we're gonna do now 
this is about I don't know a couple weeks but what I normally do before I put this with any other fish I'm gonna keep them in here for a while just because clowns spooked me I did have a bad bad issue with clowns a while back but this clown is from Ida last clown that gave me that horrible issue was from Osborne so what I like to do with clowns and peacocks from Ida and wild fish like this is I like to check their mouths for any leeches, anything like that. But this guy in particular needs a clean mouth. Run. All right, let's get these guys out of here. Food back for you to enjoy. It's getting nice and fat. Just sucking on these things. <laughs> Perfect, so weird. So weird how all these fish can just come out of nowhere and make an ecosystem. I have a, literally a pool and they just came out the pump like micros and now they're flourishing. Same thing with my Paku Pond, it's incredible. So, excuse me guys, <laughs> what we're gonna do now, let's check out this bad boy. You can see the size of him. He's hump, he's humpy, he's hump. I like him, because he has this weird hump on his back. But he got hit by a prop or maybe hit by a bird and escaped. Something happened to him where he got that hump on his back and it made him unique. So, wanna get in his mouth, remember he, does have very sharp teeth. You can see that little bit of redness, that's okay. But there could be leeches in there. And as you guys can see, right here right, is his tongue. Oh, 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 relax. His tongue actually has teeth on it, which is why these fish are so weird. So there's teeth all around the edges, big teeth. You can see that? Yeah, we can see the mark, yeah. Oh yeah. Check that out. Teeth everywhere. That's why they cut you off when you catch them. A lot of teeth. A lot of people don't realize this whole mouth is covered in teeth like that. But also, it's tongue. Oh. Relax. These are air breathers as well. You can be out of the water for a significant amount of time. But it's tongue right there. If I can get that, he doesn't want something in his mouth. Let's see if I can show that to you guys. Okay, without getting murked. We can see the teeth. Can you, can you see the teeth on the tongue? Yeah, we can. Check now that for out. Sure. Now those teeth are not only on the tip, they go all the way back there. So all I'm gonna do is I know it looks silly, but I'm just gonna make sure that there's nothing sticking on them. Because there's a lot of leeches, a lot of micro leeches that you don't see, and they just sit sitting there. The entire duration of their lives, in and out of this bad boy, his gills and stuff. And all I'm doing is literally brushing this guy's teeth. You can see that redness coming off? See that? Yeah. Boom. I know it seems silly, but it's worked for me. It's gotten the leeches off without hurting the fish too much. Don't need to use a pliers, anything like that even. Just need to keep a toothbrush in your tackle box as you guys can see the redness is moving away. It's crazy that the teeth on the tongue they yeah. attract as you move your tongue. Yeah, they do. They do. So all I'm doing is literally brushing this guy's teeth. I'm not using anything. And with a pond that circulates from in and out of the lake, you can't really put like, you know, that fish the uh the parasite detoxification you can't really isolate it otherwise you have to put it in a tank and stuff like that and right now I don't have room to isolate this fish in a tank like I do with most of my pocket and stuff like that for a little bit and put that blue stuff you guys always see me using and other stuff that just keeps the fish in a1 but these fish and peacock bass in particular I, I do this little trick sometimes largemouth as well but mostly these guys and the peacocks because for some reason, they always have leeches in their mouths. And I don't want that to spread around other fish. I also don't want them in my fish. So I'll leave that in this water. Go ahead and get it off. Oh, what was that right there? Where? Little blood worm. Stuff like that. Here. Right on the toothbrush. Just came out of them right now. Moving? There's another one right here. Oh, Just wow. came right out of came right out of this fish. Now that guy's pretty clean. I mean, chances are we didn't get them all, 
but this is the third time I've done this and I haven't seen anything in there. I should have filmed it the first time, but I just, I wasn't, I wasn't sure if I were gonna keep this fish or eat it, so. But now I know we're gonna keep it. So I checked all the comments, I gave you guys plenty of time, and the larger consensus actually, like, barely says to keep it versus eat it, so. I just like him, also, because he has that little hump on his back. So guys, I hope you learned something new today. A way to get those leeches out of your fish's mouth just by brushing your teeth. This was my toothbrush at one point. <laughs> Toothbrush, you're done. Humpty Dumpty. Look at that hump on his back. Just grab some air. That hump on his back is so unique. We'll always be able to tell which fish this is. Now, keeping these things with more than one animal of the same kind, a little bit dangerous. They do bite each other. They are territorial, and I've seen it. But look how cool this is. It's just such a cool fish. The fact that we can catch these things down here in South Florida I think they come from Thailand or something. Just such a cool fish, such a powerful fish, such an interesting fish. It's like an alien, so unique. And this one's even more unique because it's ours. Hi, buddy. <laughs> so guys, I'm thinking of Humpty Dumpty. If you want, want to help me with the name, uh, I'm thinking about Humpty or Humpty. Ah. <laughs> Either way, he's a really powerful fish. I want to get him out of that water that I just brushed him off of and back in here. <laughs> so sick, so sick. All right, won't be taking you out for a while. Gone. Just relax, eat, enjoy your life. All that fresh food don't have to forage that hard anymore, guys. There's some cool stuff out here. I'm surprised I never showed you. I think maybe I did show you guys that with the peacock a long time ago. I used that trick a long time ago with that big peacock I caught. Maybe I, that wasn't on camera, I'm not sure. Guys, now you know. <laughs> Stay tuned for the next episode. I just thought about it. I was like, why am I not filming this? I was about to go just do my regular maintenance. A lot of things I do off camera, I don't film. Stay tuned for Swamp People. It's coming up at the end of January, I think January 27th. Uh, we just filmed this video and I'm super excited about it. This is like one of the best seasons of all time. I'm like, I can't even wait to show you guys. I have this video, I have a couple little clips in here that I would love to just throw up, but. I can't sh share with you guys until History Channel puts it up. It's gonna be, I think, on Thursdays at nine on History Channel starting January. Guys, stay tuned for the next episode. Copy Waterlands and catch them all. Catch them all. Woo!